Hello everyone, this is Love Dr. Pamela Smith. Welcome and thank you for joining me on another wonderful, wonderful talk of love and relationship. I am your love doctor and I help you find real solution, real strategies to finding, getting, and keeping any mate you desire. Thank you for joining me. Now, this talk is about um, how do you really qualify someone? And I'm just going to tell you a few things and get you going. Because a lot of time, you don't really, really think about qualifying someone. You just get into a relationship, but you don't really, really necessarily think about qualifying someone when you start, when you meet them. You just get into a relationship and don't, based off of your attraction or what you like about them, by how they look or how they carry themselves. But you really don't really... Uh, you know, truly go after someone based on how you qualify them. So what I'm going to, you know, give you a good little things that will help you when you meet someone so that you can qualify and stop wasting time. Because you know me, I talk about this all the time. You guys got to stop wasting your time because you get into relationships that waste your time. Okay, so these things here, I'm going to give you a few, you know, it's quite a few that I could talk about, but, you know, all the time, I don't like to take up your time. I like to give you something that you can start off with to get you going so that you'll be in the right direction. So let's talk about one of them that the, that the biggest one. And it's about, are they honest? Okay. Uh, when you, and how do you qualify that? How do you really qualify somebody that you the way you do that is you have to figure out by the conversation if they are a giver or taker. See, we never think about that. Is this person a giver or is this person a taker? And the reason why that matters is that a person who is a giver is majority of the time honest. But a person who is taker, they've got hidden lies that you don't think about. And so it's so important that you pay attention to that because a taker lies, believe it or not. <laughs> They'll tell you little lies and you just don't notice it. So you got to start paying attention to a giver and a taker. And we'll talk about that. I'm going to do a, a, a night on giver or takers. I, I probably might do it tomorrow in a couple of days. But we need to talk about what's a giver, what's a taker, because that's so important. The other thing, are they responsible? You know, like, do they take good care of people around them, like pets, children? Um, and you can find that out, you know, as you date a couple of two, two or three times. You'll find out how a person... Uh, it's responsible. And it has a, and as a matter of fact, I give you one. It could be a car. It could be a car. It's like, for instance, if they're a responsible person, their car is going to be clean. Now, I know you would say, well, that has to do with them being clean, but not necessarily. That has to do with them being responsible because if they're responsible, they wouldn't allow their car to get to that level. They would get the trash out of the car. They would clean out the inside of the car. They wouldn't have it dirty inside of the car. And you all don't pay attention to these little bitty things that tell you if a person is responsible. So you all look at what they do versus what you see. Got it? <laughs> see, I'm giving you things you don't think about because these are little, these are the things that are more important than that conversation because you have to pay attention to how people act around you and what they're doing in their space. But you don't pay attention to that because you're so busy looking at what you see and attracted to. Okay. So make sure that's one of the things that is part of being a, a responsible person. And that's taking care of the things that are around them so that they can focus on being interested in you. Okay. Um, the other thing is, do they show up when they say they will? Okay, so in other words, are, are they calling you when they're late? Do they express that they're late? No excuse, but they're late. Because there's a difference. See, if a person is an honest person, talk about that again, 
If they're late, you don't need to explain why you late. You late, you late. It, you can't change the late just, or, or what you did. It doesn't matter what you did. Are you coming? Are we getting together? So the, 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 your answer to someone is, I'm running 15 minutes late. I'll be there by this time. You don't have to explain why you late. Just say you late. At least call and say you late. Because here's the whole thing. If you were to call someone in a situation, can they count on you? Can I count on you being there if something happens? So if a situation is going on and you, you were always late and never had the decency to call and say, I'm going to be late, I can't count on you. You're not someone that I want to qualify as a potential mate. You see? So I'm giving you things you're not thinking about, okay? Do they have lots of old friends? Okay. Uh, do they have friends, say, about him uh, her, what type of friends do they have lots of old friends? Because that's important. If they have old friends, then they can continue to have conversation and connect. Simple as that. Okay. So find out about that. You know, do you, uh, is that your friend that you say, how long y'all been friends since high school, since college, how many years it matters. Okay. Uh, are they on speaking terms with their ex-lover or their ex-spouse? Now, a lot of people say when a relationship is over, you move on. I, you, you don't uh, continue a conversation with them. But if you can be... And, and I was just talking about this. When you're in relationship with someone, you don't have to say anything mean about that person if it doesn't work out. Unless... They harm you. Even if they harm you, they're sick. So you don't have to be angry about someone who's no longer interested in you. If the relationship ends and they're no longer interested in you or don't want to be with you, then it's over. So why are you angry and have an attitude about somebody that's no longer a potential person in your life that you want to take to the next level. Okay, move on. So if you see that person out, just say hi and speak. It's no reason to be angry. It didn't work out. So pay attention to that. If they're saying angry stuff and give you an angry attitude about a person that they're no longer with, then that's a, a red flag because they're, that means they're going to talk about your ass. <laughs> you know, they may be talking about you while you're dating. <laughs> so, Pay attention to that, okay? Do they care uh, about their health? Do they care about their health? Do they drink too much? Are they on drugs? You have to recognize a person who's an alcoholic or not. You have to recognize a person who's on drugs or not. They can hide it now, don't get me wrong. But if you pay attention to how they act, then you'll recognize if they're that person. So pay attention because you don't need an alcoholic. You don't have time to entertain somebody with their bullshit and drama. Period. That's not the way to meet a potential mate. That's not how you have a great mate. By dealing with somebody else's situation. They need to get their situation together before you go into a relationship. And if they're into some type of alcohol and drugs, they're not going to be right for you. So leave that alone, okay? And I'm going to give you um, one more, and then I'm going to let you go, and then we'll, I'll do it again. You know, we'll, we'll, we'll talk about other uh, qualifying, because I don't like to hold you guys. Thank you for joining me. I don't like to hold you long, because we need to get to what's going to help you and get you to the next level. Now, do you feel happy? And this is the number one one I feel, because you know I talk about this every time at the end of my talk. Do you feel happy and safe with the this person that you are hanging out with, that you are uh, getting together with? Do you feel safe? If you don't feel safe and you feel awkward at a moment, it, it, just think about it. Have you ever been in a situation where you felt it just wasn't right? The conversation wasn't right. The atmosphere, atmosphere that they chose wasn't right. Something just wasn't right. And you went on with continuing to get the, go further with it, but you didn't pay attention. 
and 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 that is so important you guys you got to listen to me this the whole key to having a successful relationship is about pure happiness if a person can't make you laugh make you uh excited um make you want to be interested in the next time that is not the person for you you have got to know when to no longer go further because it's not about because you think well i just want to get with her for the moment see the moment a moment with somebody could be a lifetime of hell do you hear me <laughs> sometimes you think well i just want to get my itch my itch scratch but a itch getting getting scratched can be a moment of pure pure drama do you hear me so you got to pay attention to people that is going to be potentially can be in your life I just had a situation happen with a friend of mine and she didn't pay attention because you have so many. And the reason I'm telling you guys about this, there's a lot of people out here that are manipulators and they will manipulate and lie to steal your joy. And if you continue to be in relationship with a person that manipulates you to get what they want from you or how they should be. They should already be that. And if they're not that person, that is not who you waste your time with. You've got to pay attention and focus. It's just like focusing on a business that you want to grow. Focus on uh, building your, you focus on your money. You focus on what you, your, your household. Focus on when you're trying to meet somebody. Focus and pay attention to people. And you'll find the right mate. Now, if you're in a relationship right now, the things I just said to you, go back. Listen to what I said, because it still has a lot to do with what you're in now. If you're in a situation and those things are going on, then you should. that's not the relationship for you. You're just in constant drama. And either you like drama or you that's what you want or you're that person. And if you're that person, change. Because all you have is unhappiness in your life. And that's not, that's stress. And you won't be in this world that long. Because it's, un, and it's unnecessary. Okay? So, guys, I hope that, you know, helped you out. Those are a few things. I'll do another time, another day. Maybe I'll do it tomorrow and finish it up and do part two. Because, you know, this is important. Because, like I say all the time, for me to take you to the next level and meeting someone that's going to love you and treat you the way you should be treated, you've got to know what it takes to be ready for love, how to have love, and how what it is that you're in if it's the right love, okay? So remember, only true love is delayed. Only true love is delayed. Be patient and wait for the right mate. And if you're already in a relationship, it's supposed to be a relationship of peace, joy, and happiness. So I thank you for joining the Love Dr. Pamela Smith show tonight. Thank you. Oh, and remember, make sure you... Follow and share and like and please subscribe so that 